we need to have in our in both Measure M, the Master Plan of Arterial Highways, and in every city, there needs to be major policies that have a component of roadway safety. And whatever needs to be done to increase safety for children en route to school, grandmothers walking to the senior center, families going to the beach, and just going to the store, you shouldn't have to risk your life to go buy a bottle of milk or go say your ABCs at your local elementary school. And those policies occur at a very high level. We know that roughly 30% of all trips um, nationwide, city by city, are academic trips to and from school. Every child that rides a bike or walks to school takes four car trips off the roadway. Mm -hmm. Mom or dad goes to and from school twice a day. That's four trips. If the child has a safe passage and can walk or bicycle, that's four car trips that are taken off the roadway. And we have seen in San Clemente on International Walk to School Day in October, the schools that participate heavily, um, even with only 20% uh, of the kids arriving at a particular school like Marblehead Elementary on Avenida Vista Hermosa, with 20% of the kids arriving by bicycle and as pedestrians, the gridlock on Vista Hermosa is gone. The parents who want to drop their child off at school at the flagpole en route to the freeway right down the street have free passage into the school parking lot, drop off their child safely, <coughs> and they can get on the freeway and go with only 20% of that student body. Not 20% of the total cars, but 20% of that small student body. And safe passage has to be critical. There is no safety component in Measure M. There is no safety component in the Master Plan of Arterial Highways. And that needs to change in Orange County. I represent North County. Most of North County is uh, very similar to Santa Ana, although not quite as dense. Parts of Anaheim are. The, the real challenge is that you've got this urban grid, and we don't need to go very far from here to see these beautiful old estates on what were large yards that went down this quiet two-lane roads. And these grids were laid out, in some cases, 100-plus years ago. And Broadway at one time was a street that most of us would probably see typical traffic that would be on our neighborhood street. Now it's a freeway off-ramp. Part of our challenge is just a, it's just a space fight. Harbor Boulevard, uh, one of the busiest, may, maybe the busiest north-south surface street in, in the county. Right. Uh, other, you know, Beach Boulevard I exclude because it's a state highway. Right. But um, again, it, it went through some neighborhoods in, uh, definitely in Anaheim and in, in, in my district where it was never intended to be a large, it's only four in those areas, but in most cases, it's six lane roads. So there's some real geographic challenges. What we're trying to do is go through district by district and create this system of regional bikeways corridors that will connect up to activity centers, schools. That's why Fullerton was so perfect, is you had all the universities up there. Already people kind of had this bike culture. And then, as I said, to have a supervisor come in and really, when he comes to a meeting, people are listening. When we come, we can try to get those few people that, are, that, that will show up that are enthusiasts. But what we really are trying to capture, and this is where Wes helps us tremendously, is that 60% of the people who are interested, but they're cautious. In my opinion, Measure M misallocates resources. It puts way too much double-digit percentages of its revenue into the freeways. And yet the Southern California Association of Governments Metropolitan Planning Authority says that the single occupancy vehicle is the least efficient way of moving people. And yet we're putting a huge percentage of Measure M's funding, m funding mm -hmm. into moving people one box in one car at a time. Th there's a reason and for that, by the way. It's, <laughs> yeah. So mm -hmm. nevertheless, we also know uh, Metropolitan Planning Organization state that 75% of all trips are four miles or less. That's a bikeable distance. We know that two-thirds of all trips that are one mile or less are made by automobile. That needs to change. The voters of Orange County decided these are the things that we're going to support. I think as we make progress in developing the strategies, listening to the cities, we don't own or operate these facilities. Right. We have to respect these cities and what they want to do. So we go out and if they say, we don't want to put this bike lane here, we want it here, we listen to them. So I'm kind of agreeing with you. I think, I think we've got a long way to go. And I think this is the start by starting a strategy, identifying what we want to do. And then as the years move forward, 
and there's more social acceptance to right. to creating this. I mean, just having this here, we're so happy to be here. Having people like the supervisor support these types of programs, which five years ago, they didn't exist. We didn't yeah. even have it. 